What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks. It's Species Sunday, but guess what? I'm not doing any species because I'm over at Brian's house, and I'm going to show you one, two, three, four tanks and one sick pond and a couple of sick pieces of drift, but all kinds of illness going on here. What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> Brian's tanks are so ill, man. Talk about it. Tank one, TV tank. I mean, first of all, the tank, uh, you can't know how well you guys can see that. That's actually put into an old school TV. Yep, this is the very first one I ever did. Dude, it's ill. That's the Taiwan moss we've talked about a couple of weeks back. Just how many, just hundreds of cherry shrimp in there probably, huh? Between two to three hundred probably. Yeah, any other fish in there, bro? Um, there's a couple ember tetras, and that's it. Ember tetras? Ember. Ember yeah. tetras. Little red ones. What other plants you got in there? You got the rotella, your little. Is that, yeah. What is that rotella in the front? There's some rotella in the front, then there's some rippins in the back that put in there four weeks ago that I haven't really done too much with. Uh, shrimp, just straight chilling, chilling. Got the sag, the blood. He got the. We should get that tall skinny sag in here. You know, I had it in there, but the moss ended up. Tearing it up. Tearing it up, and I let the moss get Dude, too that big. Taiwan moss looks fat. There dude. is some foxtail in the back left corner. Plant. Oh yeah, I see that. It looks great, dude. So cool. Can you flip the lid to show this? He's got a sick piece of driftwood on top of it, by the way. A couple of them. The piece of driftwood that I gave him. <laughs> yep. That's a little piece of drift. Hold that up again. Looks like a hand. Look at that. How sick is that? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, look at that a little DIY action right there. Yes, sir. Those are solid. I'm selling those retrofits, by the way, on Aquatic Jungle Supplies. Fantastic. Yeah, it's tight. Um, and you all should check that out. Oh, angelfish, baby. Love it. Is this all Anubius? At one point, it was all Anubius. Is it still? There's some crypts. There's a few crypts throughout. But for the most part, it is mainly Anubius. How many cores you got in there, brother? Ten. Five Julies and five Schwartz Eye. Nice, dude. Some diamond titters. There's a rope fish, I think, still in there. Somewhere kicking it. Yep, he's about a foot long. Dude's right? got glass cats, too. Check that out. Love it, man. Love it. Your angels. How old are those angels, bro? Probably three or four years old, I would say. Yeah. Fat. Those all Schwartz eye quarries? Uh, the big ones are Schwartz eye. Those or are Julie's. Julie's. Those are Schwartz eye. You can tell because the. Schwartz, I had the big bar down through the face that the Julies don't. And the Julies don't. don't. Those the Julies are tight too. I think Schwartz eyes, they always come out a lot. Always had good luck getting them out. Definitely. Very sweet, dude. Tank two. The we're not doing this, uh, ooh, we're not doing all of his tanks justice, by the way, flying through them. But we're on a timetable. Which, where's the uh, cockatoides? Oh, yeah, I didn't know you had any diamond tetras. Yeah, there's a few of them in there. Nice, dude. You want mine? Yeah. I'll give you some of mine. Where's the... there's a Cenodonus angelicus in this tank that I put in at an inch long, and now he's like four inches, so he is systematically hunting down all my really small fish. Really? Where's one. that uh, pista? Uh, he just hid? Yeah, he just... Does he have a girl? No, he does not. He's the one out of your tank. Uh, yeah. Enough, there's a lot of placos in here, too. What kind of placos do you keep in here? Um, there's horseshoes, there's... Bristle nose, there's somewhere in there there's an L140, the leopard frog. It's my favorite play. Wow. Um, there may still be a queen arabesque. I see her once every six months. Alright, everyone give a thumbs up if you want Brian to get his own channel. Everyone asks me every time I show your text, they're like, where's Brian's channel? I have one video on my one channel. It's Brian the Fish Guy. Check it out. There you go. Moving on to tank three. It's kind of dirty right now because the rock. He literally just got up. done. Dude, that crenum looks awesome. Is sure. that is that trident or is that just narrow? There's narrow, there's trident, and there's window lot in there. Nice. This little pleco is pretty dope you got in there, there's bro. There's about 30 plecos in that tank. Wow. I got the bristle nose breeding in there. Dude, we need to buy a bunch of plecos. Throw them out in the greenhouse. Is that a pongeton in the front there? Nope, that is. A, that's what was sold to me as crit balance. Eh? Really? But it's rather low light on this tank, so. Dude, I've got to crit them to tans. Crit them to tans in. That would be fat. I'm sure, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, it's real, real small now, but they get that real big. Check out all the pagoda in the back. That's that's tight. Cool rock. There's probably 40 or 50 pounds of pagoda. That is there. a cool rock, dude. What kind of fish you got in here? Um, Plecos, a couple neons. Yeah, there's two neons and a black neon. I had a plague when I added in a few new 
neons recently that yeah. just didn't go very well. What uh, what's your what's your maintenance regimen on these? We're gonna bust over a cyclic tank. You ready? Uh, so I got a tank, by the way. I'm staring at that you all aren't allowed to stare at because it's so ill. And that's all I'm gonna say. It's got some uh, special publicity potentially coming to it. I'll give you a hint. It's brackish. But uh, all right, let's roll to the cichlids. Boom. To the cichlids. Dude, these guys get bigger every freaking time I see them. Love it, bro. Love it. We need to do a full series on the DIY backdrop. I know you've got an articles written on it, but you just won't share. <laughs> Perhaps those will go on Fish Tank TV Pros. If I'm lucky. What do you got in here, dude? Um, there's 15 or 18 Malawis in here now. There's a couple tangy that that compress the stuff, just the Julibrigani. And the Lulubai, those are all Tanganyikans. Everything else is Malawi, then there's a bunch of catfish. There's probably, no joke, 40 catfish in here now. I do really? I the Petrocola breeding pretty well in here. So, there's a few Petrocola. There's the one, Metatus, Cenodonus Metatus. Which one? Point it out. He's the big one who's about to come out. He's the fish that I accidentally got in my planta tank. It's really small, and now he's so big that he's eating everybody. What color? He's going to be the biggest catfish. He is white. Oh, white is biggest catfish. Yes, he is three times the size of the other catfish. He'll come out in just one moment. Normally I wouldn't feed this much food at once, but I want the catfish to come out so you all can see right. all of them. And since we got a lot of planted tank people watching this channel, have you ever put plants in this tank? Yeah, it lasts not long at all. The jungle valley I gave you just for fun for sure. a day? <laughs> I've done jungle twice in here. There's the Natatus. He's the Oh, big nice, dude. I've got that fish the exact same size in my 75 planet tank. Wow. I can't catch him out of there. I need to just break the tank. Oh, that's an ill-looking fish, man. The spotted guy. The big spotted guy. That thing is ridiculous, bro. They are the opposite sex. The one I have in there is a girl. This one is a boy. So I might. Now, is that the one breeding, or are the other ones are breeding? No, the ones that are breeding are the Petricola. There's actually four types of Cenodonis in here. Yeah, there's four types of Cenodonis in here. The ones that are breeding oh, here you go. are these guys back here. That's actually I'm with a you. big girl. She's probably breeding. She's Cenodonis Petricola. I've also got some Multipentatus in here, which have fewer spots. They're more almost like a, you imagine a cow to be with just a few calico spots. There is a baby Petricola. If you can see it right now, a uh, small guy. Back. Dude, that's awesome. He'll pop right back out in a minute. There's about seven or eight of them in there right now that are an inch long. That one right there? That is not one of the babies. The babies are much, much smaller than that. They're maybe an inch long at this point. There's one coming out of the thing. I'm with you. Yep, That's there's tight, some really dude. small ones. But this is my only, well, I take it back. There's two or three females in here, but this is the only one that breeds because she has a boy. She is the Lithobates Yellow Blaze. She's just the kind of dark one. She just spit about 60 babies earlier this week, and they lasted all three seconds in the tank. I'm sure. Brian's also been hooking up some stuff in the greenhouse. We're going to do a Rikia only tank and... Taiwan it's been Moss a big help. Going. Taiwan Moss tanks rolling good. We're having a lot of fun. You ready to sprint out to the pond, dude? Yeah, everyone always asks what this fish is. It's Alto Lampergus Compressiceps. It's from Tanganyika. It's my favorite fish in the hobby. There's two of them in there, a male and a female. Talk about it, dude. Species Sunday. Let's give them something. Tell about uh, it. Alto Lampergus Compressiceps. Slow, slow down. Give full name. Uh, Alto Lampergus Compressiceps. Okay. It's from Tanganyika. That is full size. I have never seen one bigger than this. I've had them this size before. How long you had that fish? That fish is probably six years old now. Wow. Um, this is his girl. That is the boy. That's a fat fish, dude. He's amazing. I love the structure of his face. It is the fish on the front of Ad Kong's Back to Nature book. This yeah. Is, this is the second What's book the book? Me. Back to Nature, Guide to Tanganyikan Cichlids by our man, Ed Connings. Nice. You love this guy, huh? Where's he from? Tanganyika? Uh, Tanganyika. They're actually distributed pretty well throughout the entire lake. Does it need to be, like, decompressed or anything like that? You know how, like, frontosis, they gotta, like, bring them up or anything? Honestly, you heard about that? You I have, but this guy was bred in captivity. Oh. So he's, he's actually an F1. His parents were wild caught. Wow. Cool. And then where's his girl? She hangs out over here. <laughs> they, they don't kick it, huh? They do. They kick it only when they're... Getting after it? Yeah, when they're getting after it. They, they hang out together. Nice. Dude, this rock work is insane, by the way, bro. This tank is really dirty. Today is its water change day. We'll drain out twice. I've been begging you to come all over here and do videos for quite a while, so I'm excited to be out here. Can we book it up to the pond real quick? Got to show Brian's pond. Yeah. I promised you four tanks in a pond. Let's do it.
Can't show that tank either. That's a saltwater tank. Saltwater tank. Coming. Yeah, Brian's got uh, much skills. Did you grab that mangrove? Got the mangrove? Dude's giving me a mangrove too. I'm gonna totally put out in the greenhouse. So we're excited about that. And I want to show the area the way he chills with this uh, pond. So he's got like a little porch here, and you can go and kind of peek it through, like chilling here and looking down here. And I'm gonna go outside for you all though. Dude, that mangrove's fat, bro. Thanks. Check it, check it out. Dude, this pond does look good, bro. Backyard's Dude, my bro. pond looks terrible, man. I can't even put it on video the other day compared to this thing. That looks great. Wow. It's got a fogger built into it, so I can turn the pagoda fog around at night and it kind of rolls down over the plant yeah. and on top of the pond. Yo, let's get these guys face to face. What do you say? We're going to end this video underwater, folks. You down? Everybody make it a good week.